going on today, guys. It's going to be uh latest se sequence of videos. We're going to try and finish off this Grand Prix because this thing's been a pain in my keister for the past eight months with no power steering and everything going wrong with it. So today we got a cracked steering knuckle and uh, we're going to be replacing it with a new one I just got from Rock Auto. But it was uh, 120 bucks or something like that. So uh, I'll show you guys these new parts here and uh, we're going to try and get this thing apart and try and replace the steering knuckle today. Nice, as you guys can see there, uh, right where this tie rod bolt's on there, she's uh, pretty cracked. So, we're going to come in here just so we're out of the wind so we can uh, actually explain to you guys what we're doing. We're going to end up having to take the brake caliper off, which bolts right here. We're going to take the uh, outer tie rod off there, and then the strut where it bolts on right here. There's also a wheel bearing that bolts onto these three bolts, and then an axle nut that holds everything together there. So we're going to work on taking all this apart and uh, hopefully we should be able to get this steering knuckle off. So we got our old steering knuckle here, nice and cracked right there. This one's aluminum by the way. And we got a replacement here, which seems to be steel. A lot more hefty, I don't think that one's going to break as long as it fits. Should be good to go. Wasn't too hard taking that apart, honestly. Uh, so let's put it back together now and uh, on to the next project. I just realized uh, I didn't film an outro for this video because the uh, phone died there while we were putting the uh, brake caliper back on. Anyways, we got the steering knuckle wrapped up and uh, this thing feels better than ever. If you guys been watching the series on this, we're making some serious progress on this car. So stay tuned for more and uh, thank you guys for watching and please subscribe. See you guys later.